هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos anesti epne kron thanaton, thanaton batisas, keti sentit ni masi zoif karis ameno. Welcome back to the uh, next uh, episode of uh, Big Bang Theory L's BTS vlog. Yeah, well, we're not going to do a single uh, episode <laughs> we did last time. Uh, give an example of what I mean, not what I mean by yesterday. I'm thinking yesterday, but no, because why? It is uh, basically. Uh, Ten hours and fifty-two minutes into the day of Friday, June third, uh, two thousand sixteen. Yeah, so we're moving on. Uh, I'm going food shopping. Uh, I've done most of the packing already in terms of getting everything ready. I'm just going to put my ice packs in. Oh. I'm in a bit of. An exhausted state. Uh, things didn't go smoothly. There were problems with the router. There were problems with some of my systems on the network. So all these, basically, I had two hours after filming before I can get to editing. I had two hours of debug work. So I filmed at uh, 7:15 by 9:15, uh, 10 o'clock. 9.15, 9.30, I was still uh, debugging, and then once I finished debugging at uh, around 9.30, I began doing the editing, and now it's in the editing bay uh, waiting to go up. Wait, well, well, I thought it was in the editing bay waiting to go up. It's in the editing bay rendering. It's going to take about, it's going to take about five hours for everything to render. And, uh, that time, I think about 3, 4 o'clock, uh, the video should go up. Uh, take my keys here. And my glasses. Because, uh, you gotta protect the eyes from the sun, and I also gotta protect the, uh, head as well. Let's hope it doesn't rain. Well, there's not really much of that in the forecast. Uh, so, when I come back, I will see you, and yay. When there's a mountain of work to do, you don't look at the mountain and just focus at the, uh, on the immediate task. I'm back. To say the least, uh, I got the video situated properly. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, it was a it, it was a pretty good shopping day. I got some stuff, so uh, I can show you that. Oh. Let me get you a time and date stamp, and then we'll go from there. It is 12 hours and 18 minutes into the day of Friday, June 3rd, 2016. So that's where we are right now. So let's begin our unpacking. I do enjoy the neighborhood I'm in because it's Boxing Day just about every day. I'm looking for new ways of grilling fish and making fish. So I got this grate here 
that will go in my uh, barbecue, my oven barbecue, and I should be able to make some good fish with this. Uh, so that's where that's going. That was cheap. That was a dollar. Of course, I got my bread. Here's my bread. I also bought a whole bag of goodies from uh, one of my department stores that uh, it's a cash only place but it also takes debit cards. It's kind of like a dollar store but it's a, it's a large one. It's like the department size of a dollar store. I got a second pair of shoes for six dollars. I got this type of an ice pack. It's, it's, a, it's a bad one. I have two right now that go on the bottom. This one's going to sit on top, and I have another one that's going to sit on top. Uh, this one here. This will also sit on top. And so, this was about $2, the other one was a dollar fifty. So, you know, you can't go wrong for that price. Uh, and of course, I've got my fruit quotient, so... Uh, I've got three boxes of blueberries and one box of strawberries. The blueberries were more expensive this week. It was, uh, I think they were three fifty a, uh, a box. And the strawberries were um, two eighty eight a box. Not bad, all things considering. Uh, so now let's get out the milk and put the milk away. matter of simply organizing the fridge. That happens sometimes when you're stocking up or when you, particularly when you buy yourself you do have a stock up but just in case you can't get out. And that presents a bit of a problem in terms of finding room in the fridge for well, every different everything you got. So that remains a thing to be done. So you can go to blueberries. There's one more package of blueberries left. And now the strawberries. Uh. The backpack is still somewhat heavy, but it's not that bad. Uh. And we're done. I will see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory Isles BTS Vlog. Well, hello everybody. It is uh, just about three hours and uh, 52 minutes into the day of uh, Friday, uh, June uh, 4th, 2016. Uh, Messiah Khan, Christos Anesti, and uh, Christ is Risen. Yeah, welcome to another segment of uh, Big Bang Theory L's uh, BTS vlog. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's not night. Well, it's not sunny out, so it's just right around. Uh, about four o'clock in the morning, the bird, some of the birds are starting to get up now. You can hear them in the background. I don't know if just a few of them, they're up. Uh, I'm up uh, to uh, air out my place. Uh, 
Uh, I ended up crashing just around uh, 1.30 yesterday after uh, uh, my walk. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess my body was t uh, more tired than I expected it to be, so uh, I ended up spending it. Uh, I didn't get up to like just about uh, 3.30, just about uh, 20 minutes to about a half hour ago. Uh, and then uh, now I'm outside doing the first part of my day, uh, which is uh, airing out the place. Uh, there's, as I said, there's no windows in there, so every once in a while you have to bring in fresh air, and the way to do that is to uh, open the back door and, uh, uh, for about an hour, uh, let the place air out, and so that's uh, what I'm doing now. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done on the schedule today. There's uh, cleaning work, and then uh, also I'm going to finish. Uh, I should be able to finish up uh, uh, catching up the uh, BT, uh, the Big Bang Theory. Uh, uh, blog, I should, should, be bring, should be able to bring that up to speed, uh, get it up to where it should be up to its current point, where we are now. Uh, and then I'm going to start working on the Insta vlog section of Big Bang Theory. Uh, right now we have the BTS vlogs going very well. The next section is uh, the Insta vlogs. Uh, and I introduced those, the last two videos, which were the uh, single episode videos. Uh, those were uh, uh, in the uh, Insta vlog style. So those, you'll be able to see that uh, starting this week. There should be uh, one upload this, one or two uploads this week. I got to try out the new segment of uh, the network that will handle uh, doing ed the editing and rendering of uh, the BTS vlogs. Uh, we'll see how that ends up working out. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So, <laughs> there's uh, a fair bit of work to get done today. So, anyways, I will see you in the next segment of the Bang Theory Row, which is uh, of the BTS vlogs, uh, which is probably will be sometime after breakfast, so a couple hours from now. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the last segment of Big Bang Theory Row's uh, BTS vlog for today. Uh, Christos Anesti, Monsieur Ham, and Christ is Risen. Oh, uh, yeah, let me give you a time and date stamp. It is 15 hours and 7 minutes into the day of Saturday, June 4th, uh, 2016. Yeah, it's been a really interesting day. Uh, I got a lot of work done. Uh, we are uh, on progress to bring the next set of editing bays online. Uh, tonight or tomorrow, uh, I should do a test uh, today uh, that should go up. Also, I should be able to edit it. I should be able to film it, edit, and put it up today. This will be a short. Uh, it will be a tweet line, uh, tweet line plus, uh, and that should uh, sort of fix things up. Now I'm gonna do uh, what I did before. Uh, I've done. Uh, I watch. I'm a fan of Bertelli, and when someone when when one of the kids asks a question. In the video that the parents can't answer, I go ahead and answer. <laughs> so this is for Annie of Bertelli. She asked about the heart uh, and the relative size of the heart in, 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 terms, of, in terms of its, uh, in, in comparison to the rest of the body. Oh, excuse me. Well, the heart is not the largest muscle. It is the most important muscle because uh, it's, your pump. It, it's the one that pump, pumps blood around. Uh, and if you didn't have a heart or wasn't the right size or didn't perform properly, this is why she's going for the heart tests. Uh, this is something that would have a major impact on her life. Well, it's, life depends on the heart. Uh, there's not that other organs aren't as important, but it's the heart is a central organ and it is all muscle. It's a pump. It's a four-chambered pump. Uh, that the pumps body uh, that pumps blood around your body, and in this function, it, it because you have the four chambers there, the whole heart is made out of muscle so that it can pump bl blood around. Uh, all you have to do is sort of uh, take two balloons, tie them on two ends, sort of thing, and start squeezing back and forth. And you'll see how a pump works. Uh, you can also do that if you do uh, take a uh, piece of pipe, uh, fill put put one empty balloon here at the end, take a piece of pipe or like a, a small pipe, something like a, a copper tubing, put two balloons on one end. One balloon is somewhat blown up, the other one is not blown up at all. Put the two balloons on the end. Pump, squeeze the balloon that is filled and watch the, the, the balloon that is not uh, blown up on the other end uh, blow up and you'll see how 
the squeezing effect will actually pump the air back and forth between one, one balloon and the other. This is the mechanism that the heart works on. This is how it works. But it uses four chambers. It uses, instead of having two balloons, it has four balloons. Uh, so it has one that comes in, one that goes out, and has uh, uh, two more uh, that transfer blood from one side of the heart to the other side of the heart. So this is how the heart actually works. And, it, and that's why you hear the, 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 there is a four beat there that the heart uses to pass the blood from when it's coming in to the chambers that transfer from one side to the other and then out the other side. Uh, and that's kind of how the heart works. Um, now, the biggest muscle in the body is actually your butt. It's called the, the gluteus mat. It's called the gluteus maximus, which basically is Latin for uh, big, <laughs> uh, grand, uh, uh, gluteus, the gluteus, the actual muscle, is a term for the muscle. Maximus is uh, Latin for big or large. And so uh, your butt is your largest muscle. Uh, it actually has connections to both the, the upper thigh and all, and the connections from the gluteus maximus, uh, it has uh, connections all the way up to the shoulder blade uh, into the back. And in many cases, uh, when people talk about having lower back problems, uh, it, it, it more often than not is a muscle issue that has to do with the gluteus maximus. There's not enough exercise, and the, the gluteus maximus is not in the proper uh, tone or shape in terms of its functionality. Uh, that the back muscles in the lower back start to atrophy. This happens if you sit a lot, or you know, you're doing something that. Um, your back is not properly exercising. In other words, this happens more with adults. Uh, as you get older, you don't exercise as much. You're not outside playing. And so what happens, these muscles start to atrophy, and this is where the back problems come from. Uh, same thing if a person's overweight, they have a big belly. Uh, also, that means that they, they may not be exercising as, as proper as they should. And that extra strain puts a strain on the back muscles, and this is where you have lower back problems for people who are overweight. Uh, pregnant, pregnant women know this. They know, understand back pain. And again, it's from the weight uh, from carrying the baby. It's not because they're fat, it's because the weight of carrying the baby uh, puts a strain on the back. And so they have back pain, and pregnant women will understand this. So uh, This is uh, the, the difference between the heart and, and, and the uh, gluteus maximus. The heart is an important muscle. It's all muscle. Uh, and um, the butt, which is the largest muscle. I hope this helps, Annie. Uh, I don't know if you're going to ever see this video, but uh, I try. <laughs> All right. Everyone, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next uh, segment of uh, Big Bang Throw, because this is the last ep uh, segment for this episode. So uh, we're vlogging on a daily basis. Yay. All right. Take it easy. Alrighty, everybody. Uh, welcome back to... <laughs> now, this is the last segment of uh, Big Bang Theory. I'll speak to vlog. Uh, let me give you a time and date stamp. It is 15 hours and 41 minutes into the day of Saturday, June 4th, uh, 2016. I just going... Oh, I just uploaded some of the, cl the clips that were in here. And I realized that I'm, uh, the vlog was only 15 minutes, so... Uh, I'm going to add another 5-10 uh, minutes to this. And what I'm doing now here on the desk is I'm fixing up. Uh, I'm not the uh, electronics bench. I'm in the front room now. Remember I told you before uh, I was talking about uh, migrating some of the work over here to, to, to the next editing desk. And I'll show you uh, in the next uh, vlog. I'll be able to show you the uh, music the uh, music studio that's kind of right behind you actually. Um, so uh, there wasn't enough time so I'm adding more time. And what has to be done here is I have to go in and take a look at um, the configuration file that controls um, that controls how the uh, Samba network works. In other words, uh, what I want to make sure is, is that we've got our file shares working properly that uh, when you come onto the desktop that you can you know, actually work with it here from across the network. Uh, it seems to be okay. Uh, so I'm going to go into the config file, the, the configuration file, and sort of 
uh, see what's going on. Now, the way I do things is uh, I don't I don't immediately work in the configuration file. What I do is I create a uh, uh, somewhat of a backup file. And I use this backup file that I have to do uh, the work uh, that needs to be done. So I can do some of the checking work here, get it done, and then once I'm satisfied with it in terms of how it looks, uh, I can migrate it over to the full configuration file and then go from there. And that's what we're looking for now is that it's supposed to be I'm supposed to be in, in, able to write across the the heart the the network. But um what I have to do now is check there's a certain uh, uh part of the file that you have to check to make sure that you're you're allowing it to write rather than saying okay you can't write so um Let's see if it's here yet or not. Okay, if that's okay. Share definition. Okay, I see where the mistake is. I made a mistake. And this is what happens. Sometimes it's just a, ma it's a matter of, uh, of you know, when you're doing something, if you, if you invert numbers, uh, and that's what happened here, the, the, it's a number error. So I'm going to have to change the config file. Just to, uh, it's a matter of simply changing the number, and then once the number is changed, it should be uh, writable again. Yeah, there it is. There's the, uh, there's the problem. Uh, it was a copy, a copy error that uh, what ended up happening is I ended up uh, putting in the wrong number. And that's as, that's as far as it goes. It's, it's the, it was simply the wrong number went into the file and it's caused most of the problem. Um, so let me just go change this here to see if this is the actual issue. One of the things I like that's that's good about Linux as compared to uh, Windows is the area where all the sensitive files are with all the configura configuration files, all the all that stuff. It's all protected uh, with um, uh, passwords, and it's it's separate from the actual. Uh, It's separate from the actual operating systems, uh, from, from from the user, from the user point, from the user user uh, from the user area. So that way, your systems are a lot more protected uh, in case something goes wrong. Okay. Yep, there were some mistakes in here. Correcting the mistakes now. I'd have the camera turn more, but there's a light there that's causing that causes a bit of a problem for the camera. Uh, if you never notice that sometimes when people are vlogging, the camera goes dark. Well, if you can, it, that has to do with how uh, the camera adjusts to light, particularly in the background. If the camera, if, if the light isn't in the foreground here where I am, where I'm in my background, it tends to darken the the image here. But it's better if the light is actually behind the camera than it is uh, if it's in front of the camera. So, because uh, it doesn't affect how the uh, system, how the camera adjusts its brightness. That's what I'm doing now. 
So uh, what we're going to do now is the file's been changed. It says that I can do just simply go in and um, uh, uh, change the font, uh, uh, just sort of reboot the, uh, restart the servers. But the system isn't loaded yet. It's not doesn't have a lot on the on to do. Uh, it's still within sort of the so we'll call the, uh, the setup phase. I haven't fully finished the configuration, so it's better to restart the system than it is to uh, uh, than it is to simply restart the server. So that's what I'm doing now. Starting with a clean start, um, and then I'll go back, check the file back there, check to see if it actually works, and I'll come back and let you know. Actually, I'll take you back there with me because if, if I know what's working there properly, then it, it's all right. So I just gotta have to wait for this to reboot, and then we'll go back to uh, the, uh, re the the research desk. This is the electronics bench. I haven't fixed it up yet. Once the, it's it's finalized and, wor and it's working, uh, I'll give you uh, a sort of brief tour of the electronics bench. Now, happens sometimes is that if you don't have enough money to run the electronics bench, it gets shelved, uh, gets mothballed, and uh, when you have enough money to get it working again, you have to pull you have to pull it out, you have to clean it up and <laughs> deal with everything that comes along with it. So okay, just log in. It takes a few minutes for it to log in, then we'll sort of walk back there. So I make sure that everything goes all, all, it logs in okay here. Then uh, we'll walk back to the uh, research desk and get everything set over there. It's just about 80 degrees in here. I only have one air conditioning system. I should have had two air conditioning systems, one here and one in back. But uh, I haven't had that opp opportunity yet to sort of get that set up. Uh, I hope you know I can get some you know a way of, of funding it and then then getting it installed. I have to do the installation, but uh, uh, getting it installed sometime. Uh, okay, it's up. The system's up. So let's uh, go back. Uh, let's sort of readjust this so that it's now. This is the way it's going to be when we go back in. So now we're, we're going back. We're going to check to see. Uh, if the corrections I've made actually work, so let's go do, let's do that now. <sighs> Things are a little tight in here, but uh, not bad. Uh, okay, let's set this. The goal is, is to be able to write from here uh, to the system, to the system. So uh, let's go into the file manager, and Linux allows me to open up a new tab. Let's log into the desktop. There we go. We're on, uh, now on the other system. I can read the system, but I can't write to it. Uh, so this is the test here to see whether I can write. Let's see, test folder, and. Nope. It, uh, internal error, uh, please file a bug report. Uh, unknown error, condition set to, uh, conditions, uh, condition in, in stat read only file system. So, apparently, there's a bug here in uh, Linux. I know this, but it's been here for a while. That uh, sets the Samba standard to read only. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, uh, I can always go over there and, 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 and work on it from there. But what it's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to set up uh, a proper uh, Linux network uh, that's with the uh, NSF uh, uh, and uh, NFS, yeah, the network file system. Set something up like that and then uh, go from there. Uh, rather than simply waiting for Samba to sort of fix and work out all, its, all the different bugs across its network. So, um... Yeah, <laughs> uh, I still have to do some debug work on the network, and that's going to take me a, a bit of time. So, 
Um, that's it for now. Uh, I'm going to sort of upload the clip here, and that will give me another 5-10 minutes, uh, however long we've, we've taken to do this. Uh, to the uh, to the uh, to the to the addition, I said I made a, I made a mistake. You'll, you'll see when I'm outside, uh, and it's about three four o'clock in the morning. I'm airing the place out. You'll hear me talk up say that it's Friday June fourth. Well, no, it's not Friday. It wasn't Friday. It was Saturday June fourth. But sometimes, even though I had just seen that it was Saturday June fourth, my it comes into my mind that it's still Friday, and now we're talking about June 4th. Uh, <laughs> so that, yeah, that happens. Is, is, uh, if there, because this is why the, the time of day stamp is important here. When it's on the system, I can see it's right in front of me, so there's no way of making a mistake. So that way, when something like that happens, I can see the, the, the difference between the two different uh, files, two different clips. And when I see the difference between the two, between the two different clips, I can go back and correct it in, in, in a segment like this. So... Uh, anyways, uh, that's it for now, and I will see you in the uh, next edition, the next episode of uh, Big Bang Theory All's BTS Vlogs. That's it for the day. Wow, wait, it's a, not for the day, but for now, because uh, <laughs> it's getting too hot. I'm going to have to sort of shut down the lights and everything for uh, for a couple hours, uh, and that will sort of uh, sort of temper off the heat. The heat will start going down, because it's not being, the lights aren't heating the environment uh, and then uh, I'll be able to open the door and start the next uh, segment of work. Alright, see you then. Democratic.